Uh, hi, I welcome you to the tutorial for atomic structure. Specifically, we will look at uh, electromagnetic um, uh, radiation. Uh, then, uh, we'll also look at uh, the properties of electromagnetic uh, radiation. The electromagnetic radiations um, that we know, uh, for example, uh, we have the X rays. X rays, gamma rays, gamma rays, um, micro microwaves, radio waves. There are a lot. Uh, all these uh, 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 electromagnetic uh, uh, radiation travel travel at the speed of light, and they all exhibit wave like wave like behavior. They travel at the speed of light and exhibit wave-like behavior. So this is the, the similarity, travel at the speed of light. Uh, speed of light, which is C is equal to uh, 2.9979 times 10 to the power 8 meters per, per second. The three primary uh, characteristics of uh, uh, electromagnetic uh, radiations are number one we have wavelength wavelength lambda this is a Greek letter called lambda for for wavelength uh, two we have frequency frequency uh, frequency nu it's called nu in Greek this is a Greek uh, Greek letter for frequency, no. Then three, uh, speed. These are the primary characteristics of waves. So now let's, let's look at the relationship between the three characteristics. Uh, wavelength is inversely proportional to frequency. So this can be shown mathematically as wave uh, lambda is inversely proportional to to nu or lambda times nu which is equal to c wavelength times frequency is equal to uh, the speed of light where lambda lambda is wavelength wavelength in meters uh, nu is frequency is frequency is frequency uh, is frequency in units per per second units per second or one over s in SI units in SI SI unit per second simply means hertz abbreviated as H Z. Okay, so having known the relationship, we can now look at an example of how we can calculate either wavelength or, or frequency. Example, uh, calculate, calculate the frequency, the frequency of light of wavelength of wavelength 720 nanometer 720 nanometer so we solution solution we know that lambda times nu is equal to is equal to c so in this case we want to calculate the frequency uh, nu is equal to c of uh, of a lambda now lambda as you can see is supposed to be in, in meters let's convert uh, 7 uh, 20 nanometer into meters our lambda is given us yes so we know that uh, 1 nanometer equals 10 minus 9 meters 720 nanometer times 10 minus 9 meters over 1 nanometer so this will cancel 
then the answer will be 7.20 times 10 minus 7 meters. Then we bring it there. Then in terms of calculation, 2.9979 times 10, 8 meters per second over lambda, which is that one, 7.20 times 10 minus 7 meters. So the, the meters will cancel which is equal to, let's calculate, uh, 2.9979 times 10 to the 8, then divide by 7.2 times 10 minus 7. So the answer, the answer is 4.16. 4.16 times 10 to the power to the power 15 14 per second so per second we know that per second means hz which is hertz in si unit which is the same as 4.16 times 10 14 hertz so this is our our frequency okay so that is how you can calculate the frequency using this uh, equation you can also calculate the uh, uh, wavelength if frequency is given. You, you simply uh, make a, uh, wavelength the, the subject of the formula. So in the next tutorial, we'll look at the energy of a photon. Thank you.